Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to create a gemstone cutter and show you how to use it. This video is perfect for beginners who want to learn the basics of jewelry modeling using Rhino 8. Alright, let's drag our gemstones into our projects. Select import, press OK. First of all, let me change the color of my gemstones. Alright, now we can go ahead and create our cutter. Let's take our circle command, place the center of our circle on the center of the world, press 0 on your keyboard, press enter, and for the diameter, uh, as we have a gemstone of the size of 1 millimeter, we want to slightly go below, so we have to type 0 0.9098 millimeter, and press enter on your keyboard. Select a new curve and make a copy, and place it on the top. Let's make more copy and place somewhere around here and resize it. Let's make another one and place it on the top. This time we are going to make some copy but place it at the bottom, somewhere around here. Resize it and resize it as uh, close as possible uh, to the diamonds. So we can make another copy and place down here. Let's hide our gemstone, select all of the curves we made, and tap loft on your command line. Press enter, and on the loft option, make sure you select straight section. Press OK. Here is the cutter we just made, so we are simply going to cap it. Type cap on your command line and press enter. Let's bring back our diamond, and here is our new cutter. Now let's go ahead and make a ring and use our cutter. Alright, I'm going to change the cutter to a new layer first. And guys, you can go ahead and uh, save the cutter and use it in the future. Alright, I'm going to select both and resize it to our new projects. And put 2 mm in size. Now let's create the size of our ring. Select the circle, place the circle on the center and make a ring of the size of 18 mm. I'm going to select the gemstones and the cutter and move it up to somewhere around here. Right now we can uh, create a gallery for our gemstones using the cylinder. Place the cylinder on the center. For the diameter we have a gemstones of uh, 2 mm. So uh, let's make uh, 2.1 in the diameter of our gallery. So let's move up the cylinder to our gemstones and place it somewhere around here. And remember not to make this part too thin. We can use our distance uh, command and, uh, and just measure this part. And right now it's at uh, 0 0.2, which is uh, excellent. So let's modify uh, this cylinder a little bit. I'm going to, need to uh, press Control shift on the keyboard and select the bottom part of the cylinder and resize it. Alright, now I will cut the cylinder and see how it looks. Alright, I'm going to select the bottom circle and uh, make an extrusion. And now I can uh, do a boolean difference command. Select the surface to subtract from, she is our cylinder, press enter and select the poly surface to subtract with. Just like that. So I'm going to resize uh, the bottom of our cutter by uh, pressing Control Shift on your keyboard and select uh, this bottom part. I'm going to hold Shift on the keyboard once again and select this little handle and type 0.8 millimeter for uh, our holes. Now we can make another boolean difference. Select our cylinder, press Enter and select our cutter. Let's hide the gemstones and see how it looks. Okay, now we can go ahead and uh, array polar uh, our gemstones with our uh, cylinder. Type array polar on your command. Select the center, uh, which is zero, press zero on your keyboard. Select the number of item we have to guess. 30, let's make 30. 360 degree and just see how it looks 
probably can add one more let's try a 32 32 it is fine for me now we can go ahead and create some shared prompts for our diamonds all right, to make our prongs, I've switched to the front view. I'm going to zoom in uh, between our diamond, take a polyline, and make a guideline between uh, each diamond. So I'm take the polyline once again, uh, start the polyline uh, on the center, press zero, and finish it on the middle like that. So now what we can do is uh, to move this line to the top we can either move with our move tool or uh, we can uh, extend these curves for those who don't know how to extend just type extend select the curves to extend and then simply please uh, end our line somewhere here now we created our line let's select this line and type pipe on your keyboard press enter for the diameter of our pipe, of our prongs, we are going to make 0.8 millimeter. Oh, make sure you select the diameter instead of the radius. Let's check how it looks. So select, the, select your pipe and move uh, somewhere around here. Select your pipe and simply mirror it to the other side. We can make our prongs look better by uh, moving the bottom of our pipes inward. First, let me delete this one first. And uh, I'm going to switch to my top view. And I'm going to hold Control Shift and select uh, the bottom of my pipe. I'm going to use the Move Tool function. Place the point on the center, center of the pipe and simply move uh, to the center just like that slightly inward so before going forward I'm going to uh, make a fillet edge command uh, for the top of our prongs just like fillet edge on your command line select the edge to fillet press enter and simply drag it down to somewhere around here it is fine press enter once again now we can go ahead and mirror this to the other side. Alright, now we can go ahead and cut our prongs using the same technique as we seen earlier. Extrude this curve, make it like that, press enter, and type boolean difference. Select polysers phrase to subtract, which is this one and this one. Press enter and select the cutter is it's going to be this one. So we can adjust the size of our prongs. Uh, if we want rendering mode, we definitely need to uh, put it down. And uh, if we are going to print, we can uh, make a little bit longer like that. All right, now we can simply array polar our prongs uh, and place it in between of all of our gemstones and here we have guys we have successfully created an eternity band ring uh, using uh, our cutter gems and also make some shared prongs together <laughs>